Pinky Pride. Yes! Pinky Pride. Top tier. Yes. This is my absolute favorite episode. I am a huge Weird Al fan. I actually did, as I admitted in the last vlog, I did see one of his shows. When and I met him on the bus. Yeah. Although you said you didn't listen to Weird Al that much. I, st I still don't. I enjoy his antics. I'm not, like, big on parody music, but I do like him, like, as an artist. Right. I do enjoy his crazy antics. The music videos. Yeah. He did, you know, he did a video for Genesis, uh... I, we can't dance. All he did was insert himself in the video. That's all he did. Wow. And I can appreciate that because I'm a huge Genesis fan. I'm a huge Phil Collins fan. I'm a huge Peter Gabriel fan. He was one of the... Weird Al was one of the first celebrity bronies. Mm -hmm. Are there more? Yeah, there's a few more. I can't remember them off the top of my head. Jack Black? I He's a brony. I really wouldn't doubt it. He's a brony. He just hasn't admitted it yet. Come on. He's Jack Black. Of course he's a brony. <laughs> Dude, these these colorful ponies are awesome. I'll guess. Eh, it's not for me. In his room. <laughs> Pinky Pie. Are you watching My Little Pony, Kyle? No! No! I love it! But yes. On to Pinky Pride. So, we got another Rainbow Eyes episode. Uh, yeah. It's a chicken. It's the chicken. And coincidentally, <coughs> I actually own a so rubber chicken. So we got a spool of thread, a pin, and a rubber chicken. I actually own a rubber chicken. Yeah, I know. His name has changed now. It's boneless His now? His name is boneless now. Is it boneless three? Yes, it's boneless three. It was originally Clucky Von Doo, and I don't know what that means. I think that I, think that I could outgoof both of them. I don't know. They kind of broke physics. Okay, put it this way. If I could break physics, do you think I could outgoof them? I have no idea. I could at least keep up could with you them. Imagine a, uh, uh, could you imagine a goof-off between Pinky, uh, between Team Up Pinky and Cheese and Discord? Yes! Yes! Find one! Yes! Find one? It's not a Family existing. Guy joke. Uh. No, it's like there's this scene where like uh, he finds out that 8008 on a calculator spells boob. Uh, and Chris says, uh, should I find another calculator? He goes, yes, yes, find one, yes. So that's what I use when I'm excited about something. Uh, one of the few Family Guy jokes I really liked. But back to this show. This was my favorite. Up no, I don't know if it was my favorite, but it's in my top three easily. This is my favorite. Even random cameos from the CMC. Oh, what about Weird Al actually singing the Smile song? That was great. Because all I want to see is muscle hump. Yes, I do. I have no idea what you're talking about. Hey, that's my song. Tom Kenny. That's what he sounded like when he was singing there. Huh. You know, Tom Kenny played uh, Heifer and Rocco. He plays SpongeBob. Uh, Tom Kenny's in everything. You can really, you can't watch a cartoon without him showing up in it. Yeah, I know who you're talking about now. He was in the Haunted World of El Super Bisto. But... Did you see Weird Al Pony, or did you actually see a, see a legitimate character in Equestria? I see as, I see everyone as ponies. Even me? Actually, no, not in real life. I wish. I'm getting a brain surgery to make that happen. You Schedule. need a tumor? What? <laughs> they can't see me twitching my eye. No. But anyway, this was a great, 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 great episode. All the, You know that my go-to word when I have nothing to say is... Cheese. Yep. I say it at least 40,000 times a day. And, he's, and you heard it all through this. Put a little cheese in your knees. Put a little <laughs> cheese in your knees. That was my favorite line in the whole episode. I want to just re-watch the goof off. Admit it. If I could break the laws of physics, I could at least keep up with Pinky and Cheese. I don't know. You, you haven't seen 100% of my goof abilities. You've seen maybe 40%. And I'm sure that terrifies you. That's the thing. Is that you, have, you can't terrify the judge. You'd be surprised what I can do. Oh, you mean I shouldn't? Nah, it's against the rules to scare him. And she crushed Rainbow Dash. Mm-hmm. And that oh my... That's another thing with the uh, rainbow eyes. Have you realized that it always keeps coming with the oh god, what have I done moments? Yes, I have noticed that. What have I done? Well, you done when? Shut up, Big Mac. She took laughter too seriously. You know, I feel like the CMC could have made more of an appearance in this episode. 
How's that? Well, especially considering Scootaloo's obsessed with Rainbow Dash and it's her anniversary birthday party. Oh, yeah, the birthday anniversary. You, you kind of figure Scootaloo would but want to be involved not, with that. But it wasn't the... That was just the framing object. The episode was about Pinky's conflict. Yes. But this episode was great. Cheese in your knees. That's going to be... Put a little cheese in your knees. And from now on, instead of just saying cheese or I like cheese, I'm going to say a little cheese for your knees. I still don't know... Oh, and the fourth wall. Gummy and Boneless. Yes. <laughs> Gummy was my favorite. It actually looked like Gummy would look in real life to me, actually. <laughs> Gummy. And Boneless is just your typical rubber chicken. Have I mentioned that I own a rubber chicken? Yes. And the same as Boneless 3 now. Mm-hmm. How many, how, many, how many rubber chickens does he have? That's what I'd like to know. We've only seen the two. He says he's got spares. He Where? says he has more than one rubber chicken friend. Yes. I only have the one. And a whoopee cushion. <laughs> I should bring it in randomly one day. Nah. But anyway, this episode was a great episode. I enjoyed the goof-off more than anything. No, oh, just the goof-off was hilarious. I feel like if Weird, Weird Al... Well, we know he's a brony. I feel like Weird Al's favorite is definitely Pinkie Pie. Of course. Why else would you think he'd want an episode to face off against her? And she won. Uh-huh. And to think, this entire episode, none of the music was by Weird Al. It sounded like stuff he would sing, though. Mm-hmm. You know, I thought it was cool that it was actually Pinkie Pie that inspired him to be a party pony. Right? That was kind of cool. And Although, was why didn't he say that right off the bat when he first seen her? I think he wanted to be the center of attention. Really? Yeah. Mm. Think about it. He was a kid and nobody noticed, so he wanted to be noticed. True. But to steal the spotlight to try and attract the attention of someone you admire? Yeah. That's a little too much. Well, you know, I think we're looking too far into it. Yeah. That was a great episode. Did I say that yet? Yes. That was a great episode. I said it again. I still want to know where he's keeping all these chickens. I I don't know, but what about the party in Appaloosa? They even had the buffalo there. Yeah, that was great. Everybody was drunk. Everyone was drunk on cider. Even though he told her, and he did his thing. Oh. oh my, look at all these lovely women. And brave heart. Who? Uh, the female buffalo. Oh yeah, that one. Oh my, I just got another STD. <laughs> oh god. But anyhow, back to the episode. This is one of my favorites, mainly. It's a Pinkie Pie, mainly. This one was just insane. There's so much to talk about, but it's so hard to put it into words. It's Pinkie Pie, don't question it. Pretty much. Pinkie Pie is just inherently great. It did show one interesting idea. What if two ponies had the same tower? They would team up and build a roller coaster for buck's sake. Yeah, they... How so much do you think that party boosted Rainbow's ego? She needs it. She needs that boost too. She again? needs to be... She needs her ego boosted or she will disappear. She will turn to ash and disappear if her ego is not boosted. Where do you get that from? Inside my head. I would think that's inspired by something. It is, I just can't remember what. Mm. Oh, we saw Baby Derpy. Yes, we saw young Derpy, young Lyra, young Bon Bon. I feel like Derpy should have made more appearances in this show. There actually was the young Colgate, too. The toothpaste pony. Yes. I like toothpaste. It's delicious. The one with the hourglass cutie mark? Yes. With the blue and light blue striped mane? Yes. Yeah, her name is Colgate. I know, you showed me the video. And you can't brush your teeth with wubs. Brushy, brushy, brushy. Brush for hours. Oh yeah, and Derpy broke the hourglass. Because Derpy breaks everything. I brush my teeth with wubs. Which you can't do. How does do. that work? More like she's brushing her eardrums out. But back to this episode. Actually, there's a pretty funny thing about the final scratch in uh, the second movie. The movie. 
the movies have some of their worthwhile moments. Does Big Mac show up in them at all? Mm -hmm. He does? Does he say anything but yup? Can't remember off the top of my head. Hey, yeah. Big Mac should have been in this episode. Big Mac should be in every episode. Why? Because he's great. What, even just as a background? Yeah. Whenever they have crowd shots in Ponyville, at least have that Big Mac back. But I feel like when everyone's at a party, Big Mac's at home with a nice cup of apple, of hot apple cider, reading a philosophy uh, book and thinking. Yep. This is the laugh. Yep. Opens up, uh, I can't think of a pony pun for Plato. Plato? No! <laughs> okay, let's think of a different philosopher now. <coughs> He's reading Thomas Paine. Thomas Paine? Thomas... Maine? Thomas Maine. Why do most of our pony puns seem to go with Maine? Because it rhymes with things. Maine, Mare. Innsmare. Innsmare. Colt Thulu. Colt Thulu. I love a good book about social anarchism. The true way for to free the people is through social anarchism. <coughs> but anywho... This is definitely a Love It episode. This is in my top three. Up with Bridal Gossip and I think it was the first or second episode of this season. <coughs> uh, Princess Twilight Sparkle? Yeah, as much as the idea still throws me off a little bit. Yeah, and there's... It has not come up at all since the pilot of this season. Yeah, and I mean, you didn't even mention the fact that uh, Rarity was commanding a princess in a sweatshop. Or the fact that a princess couldn't, be, uh, couldn't get any gratitude for uh, trying to just get a friend to a hotel on time. You know, I think it's more how they carry themselves. Like, Celestia is the ruler. Luna's kind of in the background. That's why nobody well, really talks about her. Well, they all lost their fucking tower over everyone else. Actually, Luna's not that much taller than Twilight, from what I've seen. She's somewhere between the two. Yeah, but Twilight's not exactly that much taller than, uh... Anybody else? Yeah. Any pony else? But... But back to my... Back, back to this topic. I feel like it's the way they carry themselves. Twilight carries herself just as a normal pony. Mm -hmm. Celestia carries herself as a benevolent ruler. Luna carries herself in the background of everything. I don't know. She kind of rules in the Crystal Empire. No. What's her name rules in the Crystal Empire? Cadence. Cadence. Oh, Luna you yeah. is in the background. Luna just kind of does her thing. Well, she's a, she does go into dreams. She does that too. And, yeah. We've, albeit, we've only seen it one time so far. We'll see it again. Oh, we are going to see it again. But what I'm saying is, I think that... It's very interesting how we'll see it again. I think that the way that they carry themselves is more how they're seen in the public. And that's why Twilight's treated like a normal person, because that's how she carries herself. Whereas, again, Celestia is the benevolent ruler, so everybody sees her as that. Mm -hmm. Luna's kind of just doing her own thing in the background, so nobody really talks about her. And Cadence... the princess of the night, so of course they run in fright. I'm just glad you didn't sing that in that accent. Well, I'm the princess of the night. <laughs> Double face palm. Come on, friendship is witchcraft. That was awful. I, what, what, the, what was that accent? Dude, don't question it. It's stupid. I liked it. Except for that episode. Are you done with your ice cream? Yeah. A long time ago. But, yeah. Good episode. Lots of fun. Lots tons, of randomness. Tons of fun. Lots of pinky. I squeed when it first aired. I squeed again when it was plain. Cheese sandwich. That's a great name. Like, there's not, a better name. there's not a better name he could have chosen for himself. Nah. None whatsoever. It was pretty great. Anyway, the next one is Three's a Crowd. Let's see. We'll see you then. Sister-in-law. Oh, Cadence. Yep. Ugh.